Hello, I'm Ben and welcome to my YouTube channel, Recipes Around the World. I'm the creator of Recipes Around the World and I invite you to check out my blog at recipesaroundtheworld.com for a rich selection of food and drink recipes from around the world. Now today's video is a part of my drink slash bartending series where I'm walking you guys through 11 categories of drinks in the bartending universe and beyond. Today's category is Collins drinks and the drink we're gonna be making today is a tequila sunrise, okay? Um, the main ingredient for this drink is tequila. Um, little history uh, on this drink. This drink was allegedly created by a gentleman called Gene Sulet, who was a bartender at the Arizona Biltmore Hotel during the 30s or 40s, thereabouts. Um, the legend has it that Gene was approached by one of his customers, a client at the hotel, who wanted to have a drink uh, to have by the pool. But this client asked Gene to make a drink he had never had before, something out of the box, something very creative. So Gene, uh, being the innovator that he was, um, used cream de cassis, which is a, a juice uh, heavy liqueur, um, soda water, and lime juice to create the original, or should I say the first tequila sunrise, right? So that this drink has evolved over the years and today the standard ingredient list, which we're gonna be using for this video, um, is tequila. We're gonna be using two ounces of tequila. We're gonna fill with OJ, right? Some people say four ounces of OJ. We're just gonna fill with OJ. And the, the key ingredient in, in this whole equation is grenadine, right? We're gonna use grenadine after we make the drink to give this drink the sunrise effect, okay? And we're gonna garnish with a slice of an orange, okay? So let's make this drink quickly. So I am gonna be making this drink in uh, a shaker, uh, but a lot of people tend to make this drink directly in the glass. The choice really is yours, okay? Um, so with all Collins and highball drinks, you always start off by filling your glass with uh, ice, okay? And the main difference, this drink is traditionally, um, it's traditionally a Collins drink, right? But in most bars, uh, people make them in either highball glasses or Collins glasses. The difference between the two glasses is one or two ounces. So it doesn't really make a difference, but this drink is traditionally a Collins drink, okay? And they're made in Collins glasses. The difference between highball, Collins, martini is always the glass type, okay? So uh, we always start off, again, like I said, two ounces. We're gonna be making our drink in a shaker, excuse me. So I am gonna put a little bit of ice in my shaker as well, okay? This is a very easy drink to make. I like this drink because of all the color effects it has, uh, which is a fun drink if you make it at home with your friends, with family, to experiment with, right? So two ounces of tequila. Um, no, the default for many people is one ounce, but if you want that good liquor kick, uh, two ounces of tequila does the job, okay? Again, I'm using Jose Cuervo tequila. We're gonna top off with uh, OJ. All right, that's a good amount right there. Okay, we're gonna give this a little shake. Um, this shaker does have a strain in it, as you can see there. So I will be using the shaker and the strain um, so I don't have to use the manual strains that a lot of other folks use. Nice little shake, shake for about 10, 20 seconds. Give it a nice mix, okay? So, this should be good. We're gonna strain it into our glass. I'll put this front and center so you can see. That's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Okay, this is a very easy drink to make, so. Now, here comes the fun part, okay? Now, grenadine is a thick syrup-ish type of liquid, so you can make a mess with this in your glass, on your, on your bar, so always have a uh, cleaning device nearby. We're, we're gonna use half an ounce of grenadine, okay? Now here's the trick. Some people pour the grenadine. Most bartenders I've seen pour the grenadine right on top. That's not very, very creative. It's a very basic way of doing things. Um, some people start pouring the grenadine at the bottom. So when you pour the liquor on top, it gives this uh, bottom up effect. We're gonna do things a little different, right? With a spoon or a bar spoon, teaspoon, just separate the ice to the right a little bit and pour the grenadine down the side. 
and you can see that sunrise effect start from the bottom. Right? See that, how beautiful that was? Right? Let's just put this to the side. So this is your tequila sunrise, right? So now all we have to do is just put a nice garnish on it, right? I recommend in case you spill the grenadine, always have a rag handy so you can wipe any spillage on the floor, on the bar, sorry. All right, we're gonna garnish with a nice slice of an orange. All right, to give it that rising sun effect. Okay. We're gonna put this to the side like so. Beautiful, look at that. And then we're gonna finish off with all our drinks with a lovely straw. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your tequila sunrise. Very beautiful drink. If you go on a holiday trip to a holiday resort, poolside bar, this is a, a must have. Um, very sweet, it has a nice, um, uh, you're gonna feel the tequila aftertaste as you drink it. Just a fun drink to make. And I personally love the color effects with the grenadine. So I hope you enjoy this drink. If you have enjoyed this video and this drink recipe, please, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscribe button. Please follow, uh, check out my blog at recipesaroundtheworld.com for other drink and food recipes. And I hope you stick around for the next video in this series. Again, I'm Ben, and I hope you enjoy your drink. Take care and cheers.